talking about uh, being Uyo this week, the Super Eagles are expected to gather from today, of course, uh, in uh, Uyo Akwaibom State as uh, the boys get ready, uh, of course, to take on Benin Republic and Rwanda in this month's uh, AFCON uh, 2025 uh, qualifiers. 12 game this weekend, of course, 7th of September. That game will be live on ADBN TV, 5 p.m. this Saturday. It's uh, Nigeria against uh, Benin Republic. General visits Uyo again. Uh, so, um, uh, we expect today, uh, most of the boys, um, especially those who played uh, on Saturday, the likes of Taiwa Oni, uh, Ola Ino, of course, um, and the South African-based uh, uh, Stanley Wabali and Ulisa Inda also expected to be some of the earlier arrivals in camp. Now, uh, last week, uh, towards the end, of course, we had that situation with the coaching position. Bruno Lambadi, of course, uh, having tax uh, issues with uh, the Nigeria Football Federation. Uh, now, Augusto Negoavon uh, is the man that will be leading the Eagles now. And he told uh, newsmen that it was so tough to decline uh, the uh, interim coaching position of the Super Eagles. He's the NFF technical director. Is the one to step in anyway. But uh, he still told his men that uh, it was uh, so tough when the NFF uh, executive committee told him, you are the man to lead us against the Republic and Rwanda. Now, uh, early this morning, we understand that uh, two MPFA coaches have been appointed to work with Augustin Ogoavon. Uh, Coach Daniel Ogumodede of uh, Remon Stars uh, has been drafted in. And Coach Fidelis Ilechuku. Uh, of um, Rangers International of Enugu. So the, the top two coaches in the NPFL last season, we understand that uh, we'll be assisting coach uh, Augustin Negoavoy when the Eagles gather from today. Uh, we are waiting uh, the uh, one for the coaching position. Uh, will it be goalkeeper trainer Barroa again? The NFF yet to give a confirmation to that particular one. Now, Bryce, let me get your thoughts on this. Augusto Negoavon, of course, a lot of us have speculated anyway that he was going to be the one. Uh, now, interestingly, when, uh, of course, um, uh, uh, Finidi George left, one of the things the NFF promised us is that they were going to rejig their technical department. They've not done that. They went and appointed a German coach uh, who they had not fully, uh, they don't have a full agreement with. They announced him only for the man, of course, to tell them that uh, you need to pay my tax to the German government. Uh, Brian, let me just get your thoughts. A lot really happening, of course. And what do you make of uh, the appointment of Coach Daniel Gumodede and Fidel de Sine Chiku? Uh, um, following Sabi, I've, I've, I've not seen anything like that. You know, I'm following football for yeah. over a decade now, Sabi. I've not seen anything close. Now, what we usually hear is, first stop in deals like that, that personal terms has been agreed yeah. right between let's say the club for instance and the player or the club and the coach right and in this instance the national team and the coach now pen has been put on paper there's a contractual agreement all right and everything is binding before you go ahead to announce officially but the nff made the announcement when they knew they knew sammy it's not a mistake or it's not happenstance. They knew that the deal is not entirely complete, but they just needed to tell Nigerians something. I don't know why they felt the pressure when they had the whole period. And, um, you know, the, the, the coach that took us to the AFCON last time out, Jose Pissero, stepped down because of the expiration of his contract and further negotiations couldn't be tied down. They had the whole time. When they came in, 5.51 a.m. on X and made yeah. that announcement while a lot of Nigerians were still sleeping. That done. It's also over. It has to be a Who else? Sammy. It won't be you. It won't be me. It's a Guavon. It's head of the technical community. Yeah. And I don't buy that thing where they say, well, we would rejig the thing. It's not true. <laughs> they yeah. will not rejig the thing. Right. <laughs> if they rejig it, Guavon will still find his way there. Yeah, yeah. Some yeah. members of that technical community, as we have the current constitution, they would make their way there again. It's like saying... Sally, um, what's his name? Um, Landon Boso wouldn't get a national team job. <laughs> it's not possible. <laughs> yeah. It's not possible. Those guys have too much stake politically yeah. in the NFL. They would always have jobs like that. But we've always here for a fourth stage. Yeah. That being said, I think we look at. We need to look at the the the, the basics now. A uh, lot of Nigerians are concerned. Has the government changed? What's changed? We saw him at Afcon in, in, in 2021, right? To now. 
led us group, brilliant group stage and, and then we exited against Tunisia. But the World Cup, we failed there as well to qualify for the, for the last World Cup. We have almost seen that. What has changed between that time and now? Mm. And if nothing has changed, Sammy, then it looks like we're in for real trouble. Mm. Right? Now, I'm ever seeing a situation where because the new European season just kicked off and mm. players in Europe, they have a lot of stake in terms of fighting for their sport. Some kind of that we could see a couple of withdrawals and when that happens mm. and we'll turn back to his lieutenant uh, have some you know home base players, players based in nigeria yeah. drafted into the national team and what will be their role there mm. jamboree uh, yeah. and to worry some the last result we had against Benin republic we lost General knows Nigeria almost too well. Even yeah. if you want to play that game in um, Ibrahim Musa with South Palo, he knows Nigeria and the team too well. He knows the players too well. And the last World Cup qualifying fixture, we talked about whether or not that could be a thing. Mm -hmm. We played in, it was a neutral ground, so you, you, the teams had a 50 50 chance. But we lost there. They were the better team, the bitters. Who you, he knows too well. Yeah. I think we have to worry as Nigerians. If we can't make it to the World Cup for a second year running, that would be bad, Sammy. Yeah. But the worst of it will be Nigeria not being able to qualify for the African Cup of Nations who will reach the finals last time out. I think that would be an absolute disaster. Mm. And what's the optimism level now? If you talk with a lot of Nigerians, mm. optimism level with a whoever in charge, whether or not Nigeria yeah. will get off on the right footing. And this World Cup situation we find ourselves now, what have got us here? Draws against Lesotho, draws against teams we shouldn't have drawn against. That's what put us in this precarious situation. And if we fall start again against Rwanda yeah. and against Benin, it would put our Afghan participation next year in jeopardy. Do I trust Osine Wavon to deliver the goodies? I don't trust him, even if you want to give him the best yeah. coaches available on, on, on the continent. He's the head coach. He would call the shots. So it would be down to box stops on him. Right? No matter what the other assistants say, they would only advise. But who makes the call to be a Wavon? And will he make that call, as we've seen in previous past, he will not make the call. We've had him being advised on some changes that maybe would have helped salvage situations in games. And it's been very painful. And it's come at a great cost for us as Nigerians. Do I trust him ever again? I'll tell you, no. But do we have a choice as Nigerians? We do not. So what do we do at this point? We just rally around and pray. The thing favors us. <laughs> it's a big gamble, Sammy. It's yeah, a big probability. Yeah, yeah. And this is the situation NFF is putting us as Nigerians in for another time. So if we, if anything should be on the NFF, it should be on Ibrahim Musa who was here and he would have to take responsibility. Maybe resign. It's yeah. a high time. Because that's what happens when you fail. You resign. And if we fail this time around, we will resign. But as Nigerians now, I would say there's no need to panic. Let's hope this thing favors us. Let's rally around us in the wrong rally around the team and hope because that's what we're left with sammy yeah. hope yeah he delivers the goodies yeah i, I agree with you uh our only option of course to, is to rally around uh, the super egos and that is what we'll be doing on adbn sport uh trial this week i uh, saw so on the program on a daily basis the news uh, platforms also you can watch out for the update around the super egos camp as we prepare of course to uh, face the cheetahs of Benin republic on the 7th of september then on the 10th of september will be in kigali to face uh, the Rwandan team.